In this video I want to talk about using animations with video and it can seem a little tricky. So normally now uh, when we're working in the canvas I've, I've gone ahead and I, I hit the plus button so that I can add uh, things to this canvas here so uh, to create a new scene and the first thing I might want to do is have the video. So I want to grab some video here. I got this video of this uh, lady here and I, I, don't, I want to leave don't sketch on and I'm going to add it there and this is actually going to uh, you know, I'm going to have to fill it, size it to fit here, and um, I'm not going to knock myself out too much. Just get this kind of in here, just enough to get the point across. Um, but now, what I want to do, if I wanted to add a video to this, I mean an animation, pardon me, um, I can do the flash animation, and it would feel kind of natural to do it this way. I, again, I'm having no sketch on, but the problem with this is it's going to actually play this video for 10 seconds before it introduces the arrow animation and so uh, the arrow animation is actually going to play over the top of this um, where you know after, when it's static and that's really not what you're probably wanting and you know there's t there's times when that might work just fine but I think a lot of the time you're going to want this to be playing at the same time so uh, in order to do that what you want to do is you want to go and you want to add your animation first so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'm going to, again, leave Don't Sketch on and add. I'm going to go ahead and position it where I roughly think I need it, and then I want to close Canvas and come over here to the Scene tab, and then browse and put in a video background. And the one good thing is it sizes roughly to fit, and you can see that the arrow is kind of point pointing to where I want it to, but the camera is uh, kind of moving over to the left, and so if I want to compensate for that a little bit, what I could do is I'd have to go back. And now I don't see the video anymore, so I have to kind of eyeball everything. So I might want to come over here and have this kind of move into position. I don't, I'm don't. i just I'm guessing. And I'm going to go ahead and add another second. I've already tried this, and I know that I need a little bit more time. So, you know, it's it, there. It's kind of compensating a little bit better, and it's pointing to my sheet music where I might be making a point about, you know, uh, that you learn to read music in my music class or something like that. So anyways, this is something that you need to do now. Notice that this video is being cut short and it's looping and it's really timed by my arrow animation. So uh, what if I want the rest of the video to actually play? Well, uh, then you can go to the tab, uh, the SWF tab, pardon me. And what I want to do is I want to pause after a frame. And I really, I want to do it anytime after the motion but I'm going to go ahead and just go to frame, like just go one, maybe 73, just here towards the end so that there's really only one frame or so after that. I want to be, so I'm going to the end. This is showing me the duration of the animation. So if I want to, now notice up here as I uh, increase the time here, I'm adding the time. I know that this is a 10 second video. So I'm going to try to get this to last those full 10 seconds. And if you look up here in the upper left, you can see that I'm adding that time. But also, if I look into the preview now, I'm going to see that this is going to last the entire thing. So now she's playing, she's smiling, and there's stuff going on. And I'm seeing the full video. And so that's uh, how you would get your animation to interact and be, play over the top of your video. Um, and it's a little tricky. There's a little bit of... Um, and kind of not real science to it, but uh, you can get it to work, and it's certainly a very cool and valuable uh, capability to be able to embellish your videos with these animations.